called even himself a perfunctory performance. He said, boss, that he wasn't in great shape against Look Hiromitsu Yam Kanahara, but uh, that fight should have been stopped. Yep, 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 yep. Look at him, uh, the stare down. And look, he's wearing a gi. Oyama. Is he yep. trying to do judo? Yeah. Well, he is a judo practitioner. He's translated those judo skills into an aggressive fighting style. Not afraid whatsoever to mix it up with Mirko Krokop as Shungo Oyama. Whoa. Let's see what he got. If I was Krokop, I, get, I grabbed that gi and kick him in the head with the other leg. <laughs> that patented high left roundhouse sending a message to Oyama. That means get back. Whoa. Don't take too many of those low kicks. <laughs> That's my advice. And already Krokop looks a lot better than he did against Kanahar. Looks like he's definitely worked on his conditioning following the disastrous loss to Kevin Randleman at Total Elimination 2004. And Mirko Krokop right oh, now hitting oh. with the high roundhouse. That he left. fired his trainer? I can't believe that. Wow. Oh, oh nice oh. uppercut. Stunzo Yama brings him it's to the floor. Over. There's a kick and it's over. over. Boss Rutin, he's back. Well, what, what, what line would you use now? Uh, what line? Well, Give me I think another line. if we were to say something about this fight, Boss, it would be simply that God. Krokop went through Oyama like Godzilla through Nagoya. I tell you what, <laughs> Oyama need to get that big stick that the giant had. <laughs> it is. Because we need And to. exactly one minute of the first round, Mirko Krokop knocks out Shungo Oyama. Mirko Krokop is definitely back on his way to becoming the number one contender in the Pride